Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today we are going to be checking out, in package, I'm going to be really direct right now, we are going to be looking at Tila and Evelyn from the new Masters of the Universe Origin line, specifically Evelyn. And so what I have today, because like I said, we're not going to be opening this one. We will admire her in the pet <laughs> blinding. We will admire her in the packaging um, and we will take a look at what comes with it. We will look at the card art. Here's the back. Look, look at that. Look at that babe. Oh my God. And I'm going to compare her to some other Evelyn's that I have right here in front of me because, you know, you know when you think you collect something and then you start taking them all out to do a comparison video and you're like, wow. I really collect this character. That's what we have going on here today. So, with the Masters of the Universe Origin line with Evelyn and Tila, we have the new for 2020 packaging, Retro Play. These are in fantastic condition. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous and they were found on the shelves um, at Walmart. So, I, <laughs> it's not easy to find these right now. So, again, um, at first glance, you're, you know, they tap really well into the vintage paint, the vintage colors. We have kind of yellowed Evelyn, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. We're going to compare her. So I'll just, <laughs> I'm just going to whip out my inches right now, and I'm going to show you guys some of my other Evelyns. So in addition to, you know, Evelyn, I also have, I'll show real quick, this is the only one. I have the Super 7 Shadow Weaver. This one came out last year um i'm pretty sure i received it at the end of last year i ordered it somewhere in the summer but i just think that this figure is so stunning um i mean look even like it's unpunched it's perfect so we have here's the back with all the other characters this line was just beautiful i appreciated it so much and this was kind of the last of the 20 dollar super 7 masters of the universe figures i'll show you the evil limb we're gonna go as chronologically as i can here that I have the evil Lynn I've seen on TV right next to me as well because duh. Uh, it's one of those things with me and evil Lynn where when people discuss the villains in Masters of the Universe, here's the original vintage evil Lynn. I have two. Their faces are different. <laughs> and this one has discoloration on her thighs because she's because she's a warrior babe and she gets dirty. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where um, gosh. <laughs> All right, so that's the original Evil Lynn right there. Oh yeah, I was saying, that's what I was saying. Um, in discussing uh, Masters of the Universe and the villains of the show, I've had a lot of conversations with people. Who's the real bad guy? Is it, um, is it Skeletor or is it Hordak? And I, I've had this in pop culture circles forever. We've written fan theories about it. Um, it's just, it's been this big, you know, nerd conversation. And the older I get, the more I realized, no, Evil Lynn was the villain all along. She is a ruthless, wonderful witch. I adore this character. And I love like her just her relationship with Skeletor. Uh, borders on apathetic, you could say. I own very few Funko Pops, and I have the Evil Lynn Funko Pop with the filmation colors, the purple. And then I have this rock candy figure. And that one's that one's super cool. Again, very stylized. But I love the Israeli cheekbones right there. That's how you know she's naughty. I have a couple of these. These are great. The um, the Mega Constructs. So I have, this is the first one that came out. I opened one, so this is the same toy. Mega Constructs. And then the new wave of Mega Constructs. Here's the new Evil Lynn. So this one, again, is based on the vintage toy colors with that blue palette. And this one is the purple um, cartoon series. So you can see them side by side. And the new one also has just more facial details. But she's she's my babe either way. I adore her. So there, there are those. That whole line is just fantastic. And then here is a little, with a little like muscle figure. Can you see? It is detailed. Her face is very detailed. Then I have, let's see, I think, should I check the dates? Do I need to be that compulsive? No. Then there's the 2016. All right, then there's the 2016 
uh, Masters of the Universe classic. This is done by Mattel and it, it harkens back again to the cartoon series. So we have the cartoon series colors, um, really thick body on these, um, very noticeable knee articulation and we're going to get back to the, that in a moment with the new ones. The two heads and just perfect box art of course. Look at that pose. It is wonderful. So I adore this Motu C figure, Mo Masters of the Universe Classic by Mattel. Uh, this is about 2016, I want to say. Then it keeps going. I told you I love this character. We have Super Seven's reaction figure, so three and three quarter inch. Uh, amazing card art, and I'll show you the back because it has all of the characters that came in the wave. So again, I just love her. I love her staff. She's such a babe. She's so strong and evil. <laughs> You ever stop and wonder, like, do you think Evil Lynn is like her code name? Or do you think Evil Lynn, like, is it, is it the name she gave herself when she went to the dark side? Or do you think her parents named her that? And they're like, well, you, you have only one job now, right? So here's the back of that. We all know that Super 7 just did fantastic work with Masters of the Universe um, with that license. Just such incredible things. I am such a fan. And then last, last before we get back to the origins, one is the Evil Lynn as seen on TV. Again, um, I received this last year. So I bought this last year, um, last summer, I wanna say, or the beginning of the year, and it got to me later in the year. <laughs> I know, really specific here. I heard it at the beginning and it got to me at the end. <laughs> um, again, so beautiful with the card art. They don't move much and they don't have to. I don't care. There's a swivel effect in the hips, in the waist, um, the arms move, the head move, and they come, of course, with that um, OG comic, the comic book, which is what Masters of the Universe were known for, um, is coming with that comic book. It's just super, super awesome. The toys, of course, as we all know, differ from what happened in the, you know, how, how the characters were perceived and remade and reimagined and given liberty to for the cartoon series. Um, but yeah, they're just amazing either way. So that's that. Let's, again, now get back to the new Masters of the Universe origin. So again, here is Evil Lynn. I will use this Evil Lynn, the one that's not dirty, to compare. Um, so yeah, Origins does come with the staff. It's behind her. It's actually much thicker. It is a much chunkier staff. So that's kind of cool. Um, regardless, she can hold it. So she still has her gauntlets and she has her armbands and she has her boots. I'm trying to see if there's much differences in the um, details on the boots and really it's not much. She has the fur lining, warrior babe. Uh, not much difference on the actual costume. It's kind of a shinier plastic on the vintage one and it's still glo it's glossier paint. Her scowl is better on the 2020 origins like that's just one displeased woman <laughs> and here in the vintage toy she's just kind of looking like mm -hmm. she's pouting but this one is like she is mid scream she is pissed off and i love it um so the articulation you can see in the knees there's something different happening in the knees um yeah it's funny it's the new one this kind of looks like she has these chubby knees and over here she does not there is no specific bend in the knees other than just the way she's molded. They don't articulate, they don't bend, it's all in the hips. <laughs> so that's just that's just the way it is right there. I'm looking, but yeah, the detailing on her crown is much more pronounced in this new 2020 version. Everything here is a little globular, but that's just, yeah, this is, you know, what can, like, at least I can still see it. This is a very, this is a very old toy. Uh, she still got her snakes on her cones. It's more obvious actually in the vintage toy that those are snakes wrapping around her cones. Uh, so everything's looking good there. I mean, it's funny. It's funny what I'm hearing people complain about with the new Origins line. Um, there's just, they're, they're, they're either like, they look exactly the same and I already have it, so I'm just gonna go with the vintage or they say they have bigger complaints, like I hate the color palette, I hate the faces, I hate the details. 
Um, for me, again, as an evil link collector, I yes, it's the same character. No, it's not the same toy. I don't see any reason not to just have both. <laughs> And, like, just be happy that I get more evil in on my shelf. It's not a replacement. It's not a remake of this. This is very, very different. And if I can find more or another, I will actually open it up. Because I don't see any reason not to have multiple evil ins. Again, these are both vintage. These are both vintage evil in. And to me, they're just not the same girl their faces are different it's the same with the shira waves for those of you who have the like you know the original you know four or five inch shira dolls by mattel um i have three i have three of shira proper and each of them has a different face they're somewhere up in my daughter's room right now don't at me uh yeah they all had different faces they're it was like one of them has softer makeup one of them has more pronounced makeup one of them's like going out for the evening shira makeup it's it's odd so, you know, just whatever wave that production was, the face is going to vary a little bit. Um, but overall, I think these are really, really nice looking. I really like, I, I, I like them. I like warrior babes and I like girl action figures. And so if you don't have originals or if you do have originals and just want to, you know, get these characters on yourself again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's really all I have for you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> um, and make sure you visit our website daily for brand new toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, narcticles, editorials, opinion pieces, um, collecting pieces, and everything else that you guys can think of when it comes to toys. All right? You guys stay good, be safe, be healthy, keep collecting, and I will catch you soon. Okay? Bye!